it's a brilliant stop by Mignolet. They should have done better with that twice over the Netherlands. And Mignolet, inferiority complex, and they've certainly shown that early on. Hazard with a beautiful cross. And then Vine getting involved. Blint, excellent from him. And it's set up. It couldn't have been an early. We've got in a wrestling match. Okay. Well, this is so tough, that is. And now Trosser, and it's a fabulous stop. Citizen really called upon for the first time tonight, and equal to it. Did enough. Good to keep it. And then gives it back to Trosser, and he did a little juggle with it. It's still alive, Danny Blint comes onto it, they must score for On the right hilt. Comfortably stopped by the belief of Belgium. Here's Mertens. Didn't want to hit it. Trossard couldn't hit it. Twinkle toes, of course, as always, even run into his 30s. I think Sillerson sees it out. One or two of his old tricks. And done. No, they don't want to concede. The only lost for a moment. Van Dijk on duty again. Actually, he turned on it. Sillerson got down to it. It's turned in on the rebound by Castagna. They look across the line. Matuay fears that he may be given offside here, but they all celebrate in the hope that he's not given offside, and Belgium at least are on the scoreboard. They wanted a clean shot. Not be predictable. Hoyle, yeah. good corner again, Ativa! Victoria! Steven Victoria gets the equaliser. Wonderfully taken set piece by Junior Hoyle. It's 1-1. What a great ball into the box. Fantastic delivery. Whips it in. Atiba just gets enough on it, just directing it towards goal. And Vittoria is there to finish it. Sakai. To Soma. I think one thing that we've learned about this team as well, whether they're they're down one nil, two nil, it doesn't matter. Good step by Vittoria. David, he has options. Buchanan, Tejo Buchanan, kick save. That was better. Good press by the Canadians. You can see every time a Japanese player gets on that ball, the Canadians are right behind him, put pressure on him. Victoria does ever so well. Being a big man at the back, wins the ball. And a great threat of pass as well into Buchanan. It gives the Canadians another set piece. Another good delivery here. Boil it again. It's good. Victoria is there. So is Kamal Miller. Comes off a Japanese defender. Last in Canada will try it again. Another great ball into the box by Junior. And that's what the big men will want. Johnson to Buchanan again. This combination has worked. To Jonathan David with a touch. David on his left foot. Herdman encouraging Hoylet. Just missed Laren. Something special already. Why there's so much hype? We've seen it on full display. The commitment to defending, the footwork, just the finish betrays him here. It's a few times he's won that ball in good areas. Canada bring that defensive line very high, very quick, limiting to. time and space. over the top and, and that's the risk that you take you, you see that high Canada line they've been doing that regularly here in the first half Jimmy Toilet. plays it into the six Laren was there a little bit awkward was looked like he was hit as he was in the air another great ball I'll tell you one thing you're scouting this Japanese team 
You're one looking at Gonda. He does not like balls whipped into that box. Of the utmost priority. So three changes coming up for Japan. Here, we'll, we'll walk you through what those changes are as it becomes more clear. Yamane's going to come. Rea, good ball. Lorea goes down. Penalty. Penalty given. Canada sliced Japan wide open. Lorea goes down, no doubt. And Canada giving a late pen. That was fantastic play as well by the Canadians. Just patience. Patience. Lucas Cavallini! Cheeky, cheeky little finish up.